Hi, today I want to talk to you about metrics. It's often said that you cannot manage what you cannot measure. I think that's somewhat true, but the better way to say it is you cannot manage, you cannot improve what you cannot evaluate. Metrics, however, are just one way in which we evaluate something. For example, as a soccer coach, I always have to manage and improve how our team possesses the ball, manages the ball, passes the ball. But I have zero metrics for that. But I observe it all the time. And if I know what I'm looking for, that observation teaches me far more than any metric will ever give me. So as you're looking to improve something or manage something, you should, shouldn't be asking what KPIs do I need as the sole uh, question. You should be asking, how am I going to understand what I'm trying to manage? Now, once you do decide that metrics are the right way, the most common mistake with metrics is not defining a business process that wraps around it. What do I mean by a business process? I mean we've defined the metric itself, of course, but we also define who's gonna look at it, who's the customer of the metric. We're also gonna define when and where are they gonna look at it. Is it a meeting, is it a personal review, does it show up in a report, and what's the right cadence? Is it daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly? What makes sense? And most importantly, how are we going to act on it? What are we actually looking for and how would we respond if we saw something? This is why I often talk about the distinction between a metric and an indicator. To me, a metric has a goal. Up is good, down is bad. We set a target and we try to march away to that. An indicator just tells us what's going on. It tells us that something's changed. Up might be good, it might be bad. We might need to understand the situation better. Uh, there's lots of ways to improve metrics that are counterproductive. And so if some of those things are truly indicators, just telling us that something's changed, we might want to investigate further, then we'll have an understanding of the current state. The whole point of all of this is you cannot manage and you cannot improve what you don't understand. And use metrics smart, use observation smart, to make sure you understand the processes that you're trying to manage. Thank you and good luck.